I'm here with Rada. Rada, could you please explain uh, how long you've been in the Bay Area and where you came from? Yeah, so my name is Rada. I'm from Ukraine and I came here one year ago because of war in my country, Russia, started in February 2022. So, yeah, I'm here for one year. I see that on display here you have some artwork. Could you please tell us about your artwork here, the calendars and the paintings? Yeah, um, I've been doing these calendars for three years already. And when war started, it was really hard for me to draw because we'll say my inspiration, it's really hard to be in another country and really painful. But I made it and I have calendars for 2024 year. Yeah, and some artwork inspired by war and all this pain Ukrainians experiencing right now. Well, you have a lot of empathy for the people in the war, and you're expressing that in some of your paintings. Did you want to explain any more about the paintings, some of the, some of the feelings? Um, a lot of people are dying and struggling right now. For example, this painting is inspired by a song of uh, uh, Strikalo. It's calling Tagriya. It's a Ukrainian song which saying that people gonna draw flowers around places where shooting was and that's why I draw flowers and from them is going blood. So this girl is represents Ukraine which is really painful and she's crying but she still um, saves her country and she's still fighting for her independency. You have a lot of empathy and emotion about this and I just am so thrilled to hear you talk about this and all the suffering you must have done and so I empathize with you it's a real privilege to meet you and how have you liked uh, the, going to school here I'm student of middle college high school and this is pretty hard to study there but um, I really miss my country but I appreciate I have an opportunity to learn a language and yeah it's really nice. When you speak excellent English, Thank you, you learned very fast. Do you speak English? Did you speak English in Ukraine? Um, I knew some English, but not as well as I do now. I know three languages. I know Ukrainian, German, and English. So I'm pretty good in learning languages, and yeah. Well, that's a wonderful gift, because in this country, we have every nationality you can imagine. This is the melting pot, and, you, and in, especially in the Bay Area, it's like a little United Nations with every nationality and you can meet. So I thank you so much for sharing and now I'm going to move over to your mother who I'm sure uh, also inspired you as a child to do artwork. Um, I was drawing since I was small and I don't know, I think I always had something to say and I not always could do it by words, so I started drawing. Yes. Well, that is wonderful to have a parent that encourages you to do that. So thank you so much for sharing. And now we'll move. Uh, or I go behind you because I go behind you too. Now, Mother Anna, yes. uh, could you please tell us about some of your artwork that you have created here? Right here, I present two types of my work. Uh, first, it's candles, which make with beeswax from beeswax, and I used to create them in. 2010, so when my daughter was just two years old, we were living in one small village near the Kiev, 
and sometimes we didn't have electricity and I just started to make them from natural supplies because I had like I already mentioned small kid and I want that it will be first safe so sometimes she was grabbing it and eating it and it's totally safe <laughs> because it's made out of yes made out of what uh, candles from beeswax beeswax uh, it, oh. it's safe to yes. eat yeah, some people like to chew on beeswax. Yes. 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 It makes sense for small kids because it has some ingredients which help with pain in your jam. In the old times, people were giving to small kids this pieces of beeswax. Oh, interesting. Instead yes. of chewing gum, they do yes, it they is. <laughs> so, yes, that's how I started and my business was pretty much successful. I did it for more than 10 years in Ukraine. I was working with more than 200 shops oh. and I had some chain and we were producing 1,000 candles every month. A uh, few, when the war started in Ukraine nine years ago, it started to go down and I started to another project. I was creating the clothes for dancing and one of them I created this uh, like a skirts with uh, fire cord and I was selling them on Etsy and I still have my online shop so this all Radha's art, my candles and my costumes which I still produce nowadays in Ukraine you could find online so it was for many years my main income this Etsy shop but since I moved to California like one year ago I wasn't able to survive on this business because like it's not so big money and it's very expensive here like in Ukraine we had like expenses at least 10 times less and also we had our own apartment and house and land and we didn't have any mortgages but it's another story anyway right now I'm working hard in another art studio and um, yes uh, I'm doing well but well there are so many art studios in the Bay Area. Yeah. I'm sure you're going to do well. Now, I think uh, those could be at, uh, oh, there's a show, I'll uh, look into it, uh, where you could display this and uh, all kinds of shops and corporations come to buy and they would be interested in having Having so. you, so I, I I will check into that. Thank and that's amazing that the cost or the clothes that you have done. There. Yeah, I have many models. I I have like I don't know 50, 60 different models. I create not only with fire, with also. I mean, it's only one type. Also with some lights and. Uh, yeah, it's oh. it's a lot. Fire! I, 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 this looks like it could be for Christmas. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's a very specific area, but it's mostly clothes for performers and oh. dancers. Oh. So it's not like daily uh, clothes. Daily. It's more like for stage performances. I see. Yeah. And I see you have this uh, very beautiful outfit. It Thank looks you. like it could be Ukrainian. Could you Yes, it is. It's uh, one woman who I very respect. She's making this clothes in few generation, and she is from a small but very old town Bohuslav, which more than thousand years old. It's n near to Kiev, next to the Kiev, like fifty miles. Anyway, so I. Yeah, I really like her work and I bought it from her. And it's all handmade. Oh. So it's oh. like uh, from, uh, I forgot this word, like when they do on this machine. Oh, weaving? Sewing? No, weaving. Like weaving machine. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Yes, it's very impressive. Yes, and this looks like it's a very warm. Type of, yes, of yes. Best. Yes, yes, it's make me feel good. <laughs> Well, uh, what an enterprising person here. You came to this country and you just are working so hard. I do. And I know that it's going to be a success here in this country because I don't, I, I've never seen anything from Ukraine in this, you know, this Bay Area. So I, uh, I would like 
you to tell how people can buy some of these uh, items that you uh, on your website? Yeah, I have my it's a shop which uh, uh, calling Finer Joyce. Uh, finer, finer Joyce, and it's yeah on it's a shop. Also, I have my website which calling Anna Wearing Home. It's more like my artistic website, and uh, yeah, and uh, my co I mean, you could find all contact uh, there. Daniel, should she repeat that? Uh, no, you got it. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much, Anna. Yes, and thank you, I, I really appreciate what a courageous person you are coming to this country with your daughter. Thank you. And, uh,